Here we go again. Dear friends, today's video is going to be extremely interesting for you guys. Today I've traveled to a historical site in Sindh, Pakistan. Stay tuned to the end. Assalamu alaikum my dear friends, it's me Fares again. And what's new for you? Today my dear friends, I've just traveled about 70 kilometers away from my location. I mean from Karachi to this place which is called Bamboo Ruins. Dear friends, Bamboo Ruins are the remains of an ancient city that was once a major trade center and a cultural hub in the region of Sin, Pakistan. The city is also known as Bamboo or Devo and is associated with the legend of Sassi and Punnu, a famous Sindhi love story. Today I'm gonna talk on the history and the significance of bamboo ruins. Dear friends, bamboo was founded by the Sumerians in the late 4th millennium BC and was later ruled by various empires such as the Greeks, the Parthians, the Sassanids and the Kushans. The city was located on the right bank of the Indus River near the Arabian Sea and was a strategic port for trade and commerce. Durance, the city was also a melting pot of different religions and cultures such as Hinduism, Buddhism, Zoroastrianism and Judaism. The city reached its peak of prosperity and fame in the 7th century AD when it became the first capital of Sindh under the Umayyad Caliphate. The city was conquered by the Arab general Muhammad bin Qasim in 712 AD after he defeated Raja Daher, the last Hindu ruler of Sindh. The conquest of Bambu marked the beginning of the Islamic era in South Asia and the spread of Islam in the region. One of the most remarkable features of Bambu is the mosque that was built by Muhammad bin Qasim in 727 AD. Friends, this mosque is considered to be one of the oldest mosques in the region and a testament to the early Islamic architecture. The mosque has a rectangular plan with a courtyard and a prayer hall. The mosque also has a mihrab, a niche in that indicates the direction of Mecca and a main bar, a pulpit for the Imam. The mosque is made of mud, bricks and stone and has a simple and elegant design. Well, dear friends, another attraction of Bambu is a museum that was built in 1960 to display the artifacts and relics that were excavated from the site. Dear 
Dear friends, we have a canteen over here as well in this heritage site. After exploring the site, we have just entered here to refresh ourselves. There you can find some snacks and cold drinks or tea as well. Right after having a cup of tea, dear friends, we have entered in the museum. The museum located right next to the site of Bombo ruins that showcases the history and culture of the ancient site of Bombo, which was a major port and urban center from the 1st century BC to the 13th century century AD. Bambur is also considered to be the place where Islam first entered the subcontinent in 712 AD when the Arab general Muhammad bin Qasim conquered the city of Deba with some scholar identify with Bhambu. The museum was established in 1960 by the Department of Archaeology and Museums, Government of Pakistan, and inaugurated in 1967. In 2010, the management of the site and the museum was transferred to the culture department of the government of Sindh. As you can see, my dear friends, the museum displays a variety of artifacts excavated from the site, such as pottery, coins, jewelry, seals inscriptions, sculptures, and terracotta figurines. The exhibits are arranged chronologically reflecting the different phases of occupation and cultural influences at Bambo, such as Saito-Persian, Hindu-Buddhist, Sassanian and Islamic. The museum also has a section dedicated to the Islamic conquest and the arrival of Muhammad bin Qasim, featuring a replica of his tomb and a model of his ship and copy of his letter to the Caliph. The museum also has a library, a conference hall, and a souvenir shop. Friends, the museum is open to the public from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., except on Fridays and public holidays. And the entry fee is rupees 50. Dear friends, the museum is located about 65 to 68 kilometers southeast of Karachi on the bank of Garo Creek in the district of Tatta. It can be reached by road. The museum is a popular destination for tourists, students and researchers who want to learn more about the ancient and medieval history of Sindh and the role of Bambur in the spread of Islam in the region.
At the end, I would say, dear friends, Bambur is a treasure trove of history and heritage that deserves to be explored and appreciated. The ruins of Bambur tell the story of a city that was once a flourishing and vibrant center of trade and culture and a witness to the rise and fall of empires and dynasties. The ruins of Bambur also reveal the legacy of a city that was the gateway to Islam in South Asia and the inspiration for a timeless tale of love and sacrifice. I am thankful to you from the core of my earth for watching my video to the end. Please subscribe my channel and like this video and do share it to your friends.